And today I'm going to show you how to paint this very quick rooster in watercolour. The materials that I'm going to use are my own block, which is £140 Saunders Waterford paper, a very special pink brush with an amazing point. The point is the secret to the watercolour painting. You can get lots of water on when you want to, but the point gives you the detail when you need it. The paints that I'm going to be using are the SAA um, Artist Quality Tubes. There's one of my own, the Sepia, Warm or Rich Sepia, which works really, really well for mixing colours. Right, the paper that I'm using is a Saunders Waterford Rough. It's £190. The rough bit is the really important bit because of the bumps on the paper which make it really interesting. Now starting with a raw sienna, paint this on really quickly. I want it to be slightly see-through, it's not too much pigment and quite a lot of water. Now I'm tipping the brush into the orange. Again working very quickly so it runs. Now this is a little bit scary but it works really well. Take that orange off quite well, otherwise we end up with a dirty muddy colour and then I'm dipping the brush into the intense violet, this time a little bit thicker, a lot more paint, a lot less water. I'm working so quickly to get this on whilst it's still wet and I just want it to blend a little bit. And as you're looking at that you're probably thinking oh my goodness that looks really horrible but this is really what we want it to do. Now the secret is having a really good point on your brush because if you haven't things will go all over the place. Now let's do the tail feathers. Now tail feathers are usually quite shiny and I'm just going to use some Prussian blue really watered down to get those shiny bits on the feathers. Just run the brush along the bumps on the paper And then when we go in with a thicker paint, so now a lot of thick paint, same colour, nothing's added to it, just much thicker paint with a lot less water. And you've got control because of the point on the brush. And although that's the same colour, it looks really, really different. Take that off the brush and we'll pop in the legs. The impression blue is quite staining. So let's go for a raw sienna. And a little raw sienna eye. And a touch on the beak. Now at this point I've got to leave it to dry because some bits we want to run into each other and other bits really don't. They have to be dry brush marks. All right, now for a little bit more detail. I'm just going to pop in the comb because it's really lovely when that comb goes in. I'm going to use some cadmium red and a little bit of alizarine crimson. Quite thick paint so it's a nice solid comb. And then because we've got this lovely point on the pink brush, we can go exactly where we want to with this. Let's bring that round the eye. Now the light's just hitting it a little bit on this side. So what I'm going to do is take off some of that pigment and with a sort of a dirty wash, just pull that out with the brush. And that just gives it a little variation. Now we let that dry naturally for the moment. And whilst that's drying, we go on to some more of these feathers. Now if you look carefully at the rooster, you'll notice that the feathers make a definite pattern. And we're just going to pick out one or two of the directional lines 
that those feathers are sitting in. So again, using that very fine point on the brush, just pop in a few of those lines. You don't have to do every single one, otherwise your brain will fill in the rest. Lovely spiky ones at the bottom, and these little shell-shaped ones here. And there's a little bit of shadow underneath his leg, that's the same sepia. And we're using a rich sepia, which goes to a really lovely dark. And whilst that's drying, I'm just going to mix some sepia and Prussian blue together. And that gives you a really, really dark mix. And we're just going to get some more definite lines on these feathers. Picking up on the bumps. And so we've done very little, but it's really starting to look like a roost. And a little bit of outline around the eye. Out. See how staining that Prussian blue is? Right, let's just put a little bit of red back into that. Right, whilst that's drying, let's get some shadow in because he does look like he's floating around. I'm just going to mimic the colours that we've already got in him. And rather than having the shadow which on the photograph comes from here to here, I'm just going to run it at a diagonal along the bottom. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. Run that in, put some Prussian blue into that. And just dry that eye quickly and just finish that off. And just a tad of sepia on the tip of your brush. a little outline around the eye and again a little bit more definition on the beak and that's your rooster finished.